Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for joining us this morning to honor our past firefighters of Hawkington in this memorial celebration. On the second Sunday in June of every year, we follow the tradition of past members of the fire service in marching up to our memorial stone and honoring our past firefighters. This tribute is carried out in many ways across the country each year. Our celebration is made up of a march from headquarters to the memorial stone, placement of the wreath with a salute, prayer and poetry to the firefighters, the sound of the memorial bell signaling the all out of past members, and finally, support, uh, supporting comments from our community leaders. This year, our community, along with the rest of the nation, is facing a COVID pandemic called COVID-19. This virus has challenged our normal routines and responses, including this celebration of past firefighters. But like all the challenges our firefighters face, we adapt to the situation, we develop a response plan, and we get the job done, period. An example of this, one of our past members, firefighter Tom McIntyre, did an interview here at the Bell, and he was asked that question about adapting and how he gets so much done. And the quote that he said was, I just figure it out. This year, we will honor two new names on the roll call, both of whom represent the dedication and honor in the fire service today. Lieutenant Gross and Lieutenant Pine served Hopkinton as volunteer firefighters for decades. The memories that these two firefighters built in Hopkinton and in Woodville are endless and priceless. My memories of them both are of dedication to service of their fire officers and outstanding leadership to their members. I want to share the firefighters pledge with you as an example of the commitment that these two fire officers lived up to in their service in Hopkinton. A firefighter's pledge. I promise concern for others, a willingness to help all those in need. I promise courage, courage to face and conquer my fears, courage to share and endure the ordeal of those who need me. I promise strength, strength of heart to bear whatever burden might be placed upon me, strength of body to deliver to safety all those placed within my care. I promise the wisdom to lead, the compassion to comfort, and the love to serve unselfishly whenever I am called. When you hear the roll call later on this morning, think of our dedication of the members on this list. Think of how many before you answered the calling, the calling to be a firefighter. Think of all the members of this list responded unselfishly to the call. Thank you. At this time here, I'd like to lead the roll call of our past members. Richard Bartlett, David Beatty, Lawrence Boudreau, Edward Buck, Thomas Burke, John Cahill, Sr., John Cahill, Arthur Chesmore, Leslie Clark, John Conway, Dennis Cronin, Roy Crosby, Gordon Cross, Almond Cunningham, John Cunningham, Timothy Danahy, Patrick Dempsey, John Stefano, James Dolan, Jack Duffy, John Edmonds, Clarence Farah, Chester Farah, Ernest Fecto, John Fitzgerald, Carl Fry, James Gorman, George Gross, Harry Hamilton, William Hamilton Sr., B. Harrell, David Haywood, Francis Haywood, Harry Hemingway, 
Philip Jackson, Jack Keane, Paul Kenny, Norman Kimball, Clifford Kimball, Richard Cumlin, Pete LaJoy, Herman Lauder, Howard Lauder, John Long, Jerry Long, Clarence Lukey, Richard McDonald, John McManus, Fenwick McMillan, Richard McMillan, William McBride, George McBride Sr., David McCobb, Edward McCormick, Charles McIntyre, Thomas McIntyre, Edward McManus, Michael Monahan, William Monahan, Fred Moran, John Moran, Charles Mullins Jr., John Mullins, Jeremiah O'Brien, Edward O'Connell, Francis Pine, Henry Pine, Joseph Pine, Chester Ranlett, Daniel Riley, Robert Slammon, George Smith, Oliver Smith, Waldo Smith, Robert Stevens, Arthur Stewart, Preston Stewart, Thomas Terry, William Terry, John Terry, Charles Ward, Joseph Wells, George West, Andrew Williams, Orrin Woods, and Charles Wright. tuning in as we celebrate Firefighter Memorial Sunday. It's a, it's a wonderful day and it's worth, always worth celebrating as we honor, as a, you know, locally but also uh, as a nation, all firefighters that have fallen in duty. And also we have a chance to remember and pray for all the deceased uh, former firefighters from, uh, from Hockington. And we get to thank our firefighters for the great job they do here in town, because we have a great force, and we, uh, we thank God for uh, our firefighters locally here, and also, of course, for our Chief Stephen Slayman. So I'd like to read a, to read, read a little prayer, uh, to read a Psalm, Psalm 130. It's called the De Profundis, one, Psalm 130. It's one of the seven penitential Psalms. It's one of the Psalms that has been used for over a thousand years uh, for, for uh, burials and graves. And then uh, we'll conclude uh, with the common prayer of all Christians, the Our Father. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice, that my ears be attentive to the sound of, of my pleadings. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who would stand? But with you is found forgiveness, you may be revered. I long for you, O Lord, my soul longs for your word. My soul hopes for the Lord more than watchmen for the daybreak. More than watchmen for daybreak, let Israel hope in the Lord. For the Lord there is mercy, and in him plentiful redemption. It is he who redeem Israel from all its iniquities. And let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And St. Florian, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. Companies, 
Cover. I'm State Representative Carolyn Dykema. Normally on Firefighters Memorial Day, we'd be standing together at the monument on Mayhew Street. Although we can't be there this year, I'm grateful to be included in this virtual ceremony so we can recognize and honor the individuals and families who have dedicated their lives to fire service in the town of Hopkinton. Names like McIntyre and Chesmore, Danahy, Hamilton, Hayward, Pine, McBride, and Clark, and so many more. When you hear these names and all those associated with the department, what's obvious is that they're so familiar. These families are not only legacies of the fire service, but they've been part of the fabric of this community for generations. Their contributions have, in many ways, shaped the town into the safe, secure, and thriving community that it is today. Some might consider firefighting a job, but it's obvious that in Hopkinton, it's much more than that. Hoppington firefighters have a dedication to their neighbors and a love of their community that I'm sure has its roots in its history as a call fire department. Even though it isn't volunteer anymore, these professionals still embody the spirit of service and helping others that dates back generations. You can tell it's not just a job, but a calling. Using the words of former President John F. Kennedy, firefighters in Hoppington don't do what they do because it's easy. They do it because it's hard. They do it because when they look at their neighbors, those who are very young or very old, those who are disabled or vulnerable, they know that if they didn't step up to provide protection, other members of their community would be at risk. This is true for those firefighters who are no longer with us, and it's true for those who serve today. Those we honor today willingly took on risks and responsibilities, including the possible loss of life, to serve others. Hopkinton firefighters understand, better than most, that being a member of the community means that if you're able, you step forward to do the hard things on behalf of those who can't. And there are a few things more noble than that. Today, I join the town in honoring all fire Hopkinton firefighters, especially those who are no longer with us. I'm grateful to all firefighting men and women in Hopkinton and elsewhere whose sense of duty calls them to serve. Hopkinton residents can be so proud of your competence and dedication. To all public safety officials and the families that support them, best wishes for your safety, good health, and well-being on this Firefighters Memorial Day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Firefighters Sunday 2020 uh, virtual edition. Um, so uh, as the chairman of the select board, I am very honored to have been asked for a few minutes to chat about the fire service and, and uh, what firefighting means to, to us as a town. Um, and I will say that this is a very odd way to do it, um, but this is what we're, we're looking at in 2020. What a year it's been thus far. Um, so I will start with, uh, with mentioning a couple, uh, couple of firefighters, longtime Hopkins residents, uh, one is a family member uh, of mine, but more of a friend than a family member. That was Franny Pine, uh, who passed uh, somewhat recently. Um, you know, he's, I say this with a, with a smirk on my face, uh, one of the all-time greats, uh, did his job, did his job well, uh, did not look for accolades, did not want accolades, just wanted to do his job and go home, maybe drink a beer or two. Um, the other guy is George Gross, one of our lieutenants, uh, very influential, very knowledgeable, and um, another guy that was very, very caring for, uh, for Hopkinton, its residents, and the fire service. So uh, we will miss both of those, uh, of those men. Um, it's very sad when we have to talk about them in the past, knowing we have so many fun, uh, great memories. So that's what Fireman Sunday is all about is is uh, is not allowing their legacies to go unforgotten, and uh, not just the legacies of those that have fallen this year, but the ones that have fallen you know, through the history of Hopkinton. Um, Fireman Sunday is a very important uh, event for me. Long, long, long before I've been a selectman, uh, I did obviously have a, a, a brief stint on the fire department uh, as a firefighter. Um, and it taught me a lot. It taught me morals, it taught me values, it taught me uh, the, the paramilitary way, 
looking up to your elders, respecting your elders. And, um, and I'm a nurse now and I, I firmly believe that, uh, that was my first exposure to helping people, uh, and being somewhat selfless, uh, in your actions. And I owe a lot to the fire service and to the Hopkins fire department more specifically. Um, we've lost a lot of great people. Uh, I think that anybody that has, uh, that has served on the fire department is a great person. Uh, you know, back in the day, not one person did it for the money. Um, they, uh, they did it for the camaraderie. They did it for the public safety. Um, they did it for the water station, you know, the meetings at the water stations afterwards, uh, whatever their reasons were, they did it. And, uh, this is our chance to honor them. Uh, I say it every year. It's cliche. I know it's very cliche, but I'm going to say it anyways. You are the guys that run are running into the fires as most others are running out. And that isn't anything that can be learned. That's something that you're born with. It's something you have within. And, uh, we have a great group of guys on the fire department now that foster that and bring out the best of your, uh, of your God given talents. So, um, I don't like doing this remotely. Uh, I do enjoy sitting up there, uh, at the fireman's memorial thinking of Tommy McIntyre, uh, where he and I kind of spruced up that, that memorial a couple of times and ringing the bells and things like that. And, uh, you know, Hopkins is a changing town. And, um, you know, we are, I'm, I'm very proud to say that, uh, that I'm a lifelong resident of Hopkinton and all these people, uh, that are here today or that would be here today. Uh, I would, uh, without a doubt, um, trust the lives of my wife, my kids, myself in their hands and their arms. And, um, I hope they would do the same for me. So, um, I, I don't know if you can say happy firemen's. Uh, Sunday, you know, it's it's uh, it's not really a happy event uh, because it's it's memorializing people that have passed, and selfishly we wish that none of them would have passed. But um, you know, happy Fireman Sunday! Thank you very much for your time, and uh, stay safe, uh, wash your hands, and cover your cough. All right, thanks, guys. Companies, uncover. When I'm called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save some life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my every neighbor, and protect his property. And if according to my fate, I am to lose my life this day, please bless with your protecting hand, my family, this I pray. Companies, place covers. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for celebrating our past firefighters today. And I look forward to celebrating with you all next year. Thank you.